Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Portal Knights. Uh, in this episode, it has been a little while since I last recorded, so I'm going to have to remember where I am and what I'm doing. Um, let's see, on the map, I'm pretty sure I'm just gathering gold ore at this point. Um, over here, yeah, so i just got to come back over here to get some more gold ore. But, uh, let's see, oh look, there's some more silk that I can get because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot of silk. Um, which I probably mentioned in like my last video or something, or like all my videos. Uh, so let's see, I'm probably going to plant some more silk, and uh, I'm going to not plant it right next to the edge because I'm sure as I'm mining these, uh, I'm going to be dropping some. But, um, so gold, I'm pretty sure I need a lot of, yeah, now that I remember, now that I remember um, what I'm going to need it for. I don't need so much for my armor. My armor is going to be a lot of silk, and uh, eventually it's going to be the next tier, of course, but um, it's going to be a bit later. Um, and then my my weapons are going to need a lot of silk, and I don't even mind the few that are dropping off, because I am getting quite a few uh, not dropping off. <laughs> um, so let's see, with 36, uh, 36 ore, that's only like two bars. Uh, which could be enough if I'm just going for like, uh, if I'm just going for the, whatchamacallit, uh, for the altar upgrade, which, um, hold on, let me go first person for this. Or actually, you know what? If you're in third person and you hold down alt and mouse wheel in, you can zoom in a bit, and that's kind of cool. Sort of not really useful, uh, to me. And then you can zoom out to just a little bit more zoomed out than normal, <laughs> which I find kind of funny. Um, but uh, let me just plant all of these, and um, and then what else was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, uh, yesterday, or because I'm stre I'm <laughs> not streaming this, recording this on the 17th, so this is only one day in advance. But um, on the 16th, um, I actually streamed this game. And uh, I was playing as one of the characters and uh, just messing around. But just so you know, that is a thing that I could potentially do at any time. Uh, which I say at any time, but it's really like I don't have very much time to do it. So I just kind of randomly choose, okay, now is the time that I'm going to stream. Uh, which is why, like, no one showed up. <laughs> which I don't really mean to complain. I just kind of joke about it. Um, but let's see. Let's, uh, I don't have any... Do I not have enough coal? I do not have enough coal. Is that going to be an issue? Am I not going to have enough coal? Because I do remember how much... Okay, good. I've got 64. But um, I am going to need more. Oops. Oh, there we go. Um, I am going to need more... Uh, whatchamacallit. Okay. So this is Angel Diamond Dust. And Refined Angel Diamond. Alright. Um, is that... Okay, I was like, what is that symbol that I'm seeing? Um, for my armor, the Grand Cultist. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of silk. And uh, Angel Diamond Dust. Yeah, Angel Diamond Dust. I think I did decide I was going to go for the Grand Cultist. Um, yeah, because then the Grand Sorcerer, uh, that's the aggressor, so it's more for the melee damage rather than um, rather than the magic. But this one with the extra critical strike chance and the Encore, that's a bit more uh, magic-y, combat-y. Um, I would like Holy Bomb, which means you need Angel Diamond Dust, and Planetary Strike, which is also Angel Diamond Dust. So I'm gonna need a lot. Um, this one, Frost Sapphire Dust, which I'm gonna need more Frost Sapphire for, so I'm probably gonna end up going to the snowy place, because I don't have any more Frost Sapphires in there. And you know what, let me plant the more Silk Seed that I got. And how much? 45? Okay. So that means, yeah, 62. What was it, like, eight per, uh, per thing? That means I've only got, like, six or seven. Oh, man. Um, there we go. I like that, um, my fire attack is still, like, super effective against those guys, even though they're super weak anyways. Um, so let's see. Did I already fight the, uh, second? I, I know I fought the second boss at least once, but I think I, like, went back and fought him, like, the second time and got what I needed. I think. I don't remember. Um, but anyways, let's finish this there. Okay. Uh, so then, do I need to clear out my inventory? Eh. 
I don't really need to. Because everything I get there is probably going to be the same that I have in my inventory. And I've got a few more spots. Well, two more spots in my uh, my hotbar, toolbar, hotkey thing, action bar. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, my numbers. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you call it? I feel like hotbar is the right one. But, um, I don't know. Anyways. Um, so here's the green portal. I do need more green portal shards. Um... So, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'll also want some obsidian. Um, because, well, actually, hold on. Because now that I remember, um, if you go to tools, the, uh, oh, well, I can't even, oh, let's, let's use that. Oh, I got one. Um, I can't even make the basalt sharpening, or the obsidian sharpening stone, but I'm pretty sure if I was able to, I would see that, uh, oops, no. Uh, if I was able to, I would know that, um, I think it requires frost sapphire in order to make the sharpening stone, which is really not cool, because the obsidian sharpening stone is not that much better than a regular sharpening stone, um, so it's kind of lame that it requires so much more, uh, valuable stuff, um, let's see, I'm trying to get as low as I can so that I can put some dirt underneath here. Um, so that when I mine it, it doesn't just fall off the edge. Okay. There we go, and I'm actually going to place a little bit more dirt. Um, there we go. Because I really don't want this to fall off the edge. It is not like the silk that I can just regrow, uh, with all the seeds that I get. Um, this gold is a little bit more important. And, uh, it would be nice if there was a way to, like, just grow the ore back. Like, if you just plant it in the ground, and then it would grow a vein. Um, that would be cool. It'd probably become a little bit overpowered or something. Um, or if I knew which enemies dropped ore and- oh no! I, I don't know if that dropped or not. Should probably fill that hole back up before I dig anymore. Um, okay, that's gonna fall if I do that. Let me- there we go. Uh, I do like that you can sort of dig or, uh, place blocks underneath blocks that way, um, the way that I just did it, and, uh, let me get my resource scanner out, um, yeah, looks like it's up there, yeah, that didn't work, up here, let's see, um, no, wait, where, it, it was just saying, my resource scanner was just saying that it was over here somewhere, great, um, okay, so it's down there more, uh, well, I can see this one, so, let's get my dirt back out. I've got plenty of dirt. Um, also, <laughs> uh, when I was streaming, um, I was playing with uh, Blocks, uh, Black Fox, one of the uh, people from my Twitch stream that also occasionally watches my YouTube videos. Um, and uh, he was in my world where um, I had, like, you know, end game gear and all that. And um, I had the final tier of crafting stations. So, when he used my crafting stations just to look at what he could make, it showed him all of the- oh, dang it. <laughs> it showed him all of the recipes for everything, because I had all the final tier of uh, crafting stations. So it showed him how to make everything, and now he has permanently learned on that character how to make everything, even though he's nowhere close to getting the crafting materials. Uh, which means that he's going to have to scroll through a ton of stuff just to get down to the basic stuff that he was trying to get, which I do feel a little bit bad about, but, um, yeah, I didn't really remember that until, uh, it was a bit too late for him. Um, let's see, okay, I'm just trying to be careful that I don't, uh, mine it as it's about to fall off, because this one is about to fall off, so let's put a dirt block underneath there. Alright, um, and then any more around here? No, how about this way? Because there does seem to be a lot of ore down here underneath, which I know at the beginning of the Let's Play I said that there wasn't a particular extra amount down here, which, hey, look. Um, oh, hey, recipe for iron throwing knives. That's interesting. I feel like I should already know how to do that. Oh, nice. Um,. Let's go down here. Iron throwing knives. Cool. 
Um, but anyways, uh, so I'm looking for these. Uh, I might get the melee damage one. Probably not. But, uh, I do specifically want the immortal gold. Um, so I'm gonna need more gold bars. And then I'm just gonna need to... I would like a gold... Oh yeah, I need to upgrade everything, so I need a lot of gold. Um, because to upgrade the crafting stations, it kind of does require a lot of gold. Uh, so let's get my dirt back. And, uh, yeah, I'm only at 38 ore. Uh, which is not very much. And, um, I'm gonna actually try to sort of build my way up here. Even out the ground around me. There we go. I'm, like, right up next to it. Um, so yeah, I feel like a large majority of this game is just in the dirt mining. Trying to find the ore that I'm looking for. Um, and as much as I want to say that I never really use torches, I really don't. <laughs> like, um, when I'm in the dark like that, I can just bust out a wand or, uh, or my healing spell and it'll give me some light. Um, obviously once the light is gone, or once I put away my wand and start mining, um, then it's dark again, but, uh, not usually too dark. I can usually still see where I'm going, and then I'm mostly paying attention to my, uh, to my, uh, dowsing rod, um, rings, so, uh, let's see. I don't want to have to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to have to, like, mine something off the bottom of that, because that'll be kind of annoying, so, um, let's just get rid of you. One more? Yeah. And what do you even drop? Agave? Why does it drop agave? I don't need agave. I don't. Um. Okay. So. Oops. Uh, there we go. I need to sharpen this back up. With, um, I think, is that a, uh, regular one? That's a basalt one. Um. I think I might just stop making, like, the basalt or obsidian sharpening stones and stuff. And I think I'll just go for um, regular stone sharpening stones because they only cost one stone and they repair 50% of the damage. And then everything else is only like 60, 70, and 80%. But then they require much more uh, extensive resources. <laughs> um, it's still usually like one base, or actually no, it's two basalt sharpening stone or two basalt stone for one sharpening stone. And then uh, what is it? It's like um, I think it's probably still like one or two obsidian, but then it also requires a frost sapphire, which um, used to be sort of abundant on my other game, and then I started using some frost sapphire stuff, so it became much less abundant. But um, especially comparing one obsidian and a frost sapphire to one stone, uh, it's definitely much better just to make a bunch of stone ones and then not worry about. Uh, repairing it too much at once, basically. Because you usually don't really need to repair it 100% really quickly, as long as you just keep repairing it once it gets to about half of the green bar. Um, or even once it dips into the yellow, that's still like 40% or so. Um, let's see, is it still saying there's some up there? Probably, yeah. Um, so let's throw these up there. Let's see, where is it shooting? Why is it shooting that way? <laughs> Shoots upward. Up. There we go. Um, and why is it shooting down where I'm not pointing it? Why is it doing that? I don't know. Um, well, I've got 64, uh, 69 ore. Uh, I've got 14. That's enough for a few more bars. Um, so let's head back. Um, head back. And uh, let's see how much I can make. Still got some time on the episode. I really should just get like a timer or something right in front of me rather than having to switch over to OBS uh, just to see. But um, I, I am going to need more coal, which bugs me because I, I was always so confident that I would never run out of coal. But um, yeah, I'm starting to. Uh, so uh, let's see. All right, plenty of silk does need more, much more time to uh, grow. Um, I should, yeah, I should still have some, okay, I'm able to make, oh, I needed one more ore, dang, um, one more ore to get another bar, 
Uh, where is the rest of that? Three of coal. Yeah, because now I've got 31 left. Um, how much did I need for the, uh, it's four, eight, 13, 18, yeah. Um, so let's get that silk out. And let's see how much I can make with, um, with what I got. I got seven. Really? Okay, do I have any other silk cloth anywhere? Okay, I've got nine here, which means I've got 16, uh, which is that, is that it? 16? Oh, no, I have got more silk here, um, as well as more seeds, so I should probably plant those seeds. Um, I only need two more, so that's good. Although I've got enough for a little bit more, but just to be cautious in case I actually need more silk specifically. Um, so I've got all the silk cloth that I need. Um, so, oops. Nope, come on. Put that there. Um, I'll probably go for some more frost sapphire next. Okay, with six gold bars. Um, I've already upgraded my altar. Uh, and my furnace, right? Yeah. So now for this, four and wood, or that one, six for extra anvil. The extra an <coughs> excuse me, uh, the extra anvil um, is really just going to give me more rings. That's really the only thing that's going to be useful. Um, so let's see, do I have any more wood in my treasure chest? You would think I would know by now what I do and don't have, but I'm really not that uh, attentive. There's nothing in there. Well, there is, but nothing useful at the moment. Um, so, I'm going to be upgrading my workbench, which means I'm going to need more wood. Um, which, again, uh, is another thing that I thought, oh, well, I'm never going to need more wood. Why would I ever need more wood? There's so much of it. Um, and on my other character, on my other universe, I mined off all the trees on my first world. And then whenever I would need more wood, because I did end up needing more wood, I would just go and get some from a different uh, planet map thing. Um, a level, I guess, island, if you will. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to plant some more trees <laughs> in my uh, in my starter world, in my peaceful hills. All right, so now this is upgraded. Ta-da! Um, and then next I'm going to need more titanium. Um, so now with the extra tools, I would like a golden pickaxe, which needs two more gold bars. Um, and then yeah, these obsidian, it needs two frost sapphire and three obsidian, just to get 70% more durability, which is only 20% more than one stone. Like, that that really needs to change. I would really like not to make the one sharpening stone uh, more difficult. If we could make the obsidian sharpening stone, like... Uh, maybe permanently increase the amount of durability it has or something or uh, make it um, like reduce the amount of durability that goes down for the next certain amount of time or something um, so let's see witchcraft uh, increase spell damage by 50% for 50 seconds while dealing critical strength or increase melee damage by 50% for 10 seconds while receiving melee damage I'll probably end up going with witchcraft um yeah, I'll probably go with Witchcraft. And then, um, probably Elemental Might, because I'd like to have more health, because that's what that would do. Because, yeah, increasing strength would give me more health, and more melee power, but that's less important. Okay, anyways, um, so what do I have? The Critical Ring of Fire, that's true, that's a good one. Um, the Royal Mage Cape, do I still need a Great Wizard Cape? I don't think there is a Great Wizard Cape, is there? Archer stuff, rogue, uh, sharpshooter, raider, barbarian, great wizard. Yeah, not really. Um, there's not as many capes as I would like. Okay, so the pirate cape and then the um, the cultist cape. That's what I was going for. Although the pirate cape does give me some nice extra critical striking stuff, but that does require silk, and kind of prefer not using any more silk on that. Um, where are the tricks and pants? Strike damage, yeah. Um, fire. Enchanter. Did I not want to wear these? Um, it's melee damage resistance. I guess I just figured um, 
what was it? The Great Wizard was better than this, yeah. Anyways, um, now let's see what time it is. Uh, yeah, it's about time to end the episode. Um, so let's see, the Grand Cultist, I need more, what did I say? Angel's Diamond, which means I need more green shards. Um, because 11 is not enough. Let's put the, um, oh no, I don't have enough room for the tree seeds. Oh no, what do I have these seeds for? Wheat? I don't need wheat seeds. I don't need agave seeds. What is this? I don't need carrots or palm fruit or wheat. Uh, I don't need cotton anymore. don't need bush because I don't need berries. I don't need any of this stuff. Why am I carrying it? <laughs> um, the straw block, straw block, just in case I want to fix up the roof or something, I can do that. I don't need agave. Um, throw away this dirt because I've got a ton of dirt. Uh, I don't need the water because I don't build any potions. Okay, I'm going to finish sorting this out. Come on, is my game crashing? I think the game is crashing, okay. Um, put that in there, just sorting everything out because no specific reason. Uh, let me put my blue portal shard away. Might as well put the stone in there. I don't need the drill anymore because I've got my, uh, my other thing. Go bar right there. Okay, so I need more gold, I need more green shards, and I need a raw frost sapphire. Uh, or more raw frost sapphire. Don't even remember why I need it. What do I need it for? Oh, that's right, the healing thing. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.